Howdy. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to say that again. I tried something. I failed. I want to talk to you about time. I want to talk to you about uh, time and how it pertains uh, or how it impacts the way that you're optimizing your, your campaigns and the way that you're interpreting your data. Um, there's, there's something called the, the observer expectancy effect, which it means that what you're expecting to see is going to influence what it is that you see, obviously, right? But, but I see it's, it's actually really pervasive. My experience with our clients and our students has been that most people are looking at data on a month-by-month -month basis. And I think that we've been indoctrinated into that from probably like the finance industry, right? You're looking at your regular reporting, your profitability, your expenses, etc., month-by-month. And it makes sense then that tangentially you would begin optimizing month-by-month. -month. This is flawed logic. Um, you're putting yourself at a massive disadvantage because that's not the way that advertising works at all, period. Um, what you need to do is, is you need to be able to zoom out and zoom in. And, and so we need to abandon these predefined buckets of time that you're using because they're comfortable. And instead, begin looking at the way that time impacts your campaigns. And I'm going to give you a really specific example that actually catalyzed this whole idea. Uh, we own a client account. My partner showed me um, something that was kind of cool about this client. It just made me think like, gosh, I, this is so dangerous if we didn't know this information, the mistakes that we would have made. So you see the campaigns that we're running, Brand Smart Shopping Dynamic. Um, if I come over here and I segment by conversion time, so I'm going to say days to conversion. Um, here's what's really interesting is uh, the days to conversion, you'll notice, go all the way out, 60 to 90 days. And they're not insignificant. You see, you know, a significant number of conversions happening in the first couple of days. Let me move my face. Um, now, first of all, I actually don't buy this number, especially not in a brand search. I, I would anticipate a lot of these being assisted conversions. You know, Google says upwards of 30% of all conversions are assisted conversions, meaning they've been exposed to us elsewhere, but then... We're, the session ID broke, or we're not able to track that all the way through. So if they're Googling our brand, I, I would anticipate that meaning that they've been exposed to our advertising elsewhere, and we're just not able to track that, that, that path um, in its entirety, even if that's not true. Set that aside for a minute. You'll notice that um, the conversions begin to kind of drop, 44, 39, 32, 44. So that's interesting. And this is you know, uh, over six months' worth of data, or almost six months' worth of data, um, 19, 22, 21, 13. And then they start to climb back up. So it drops all the way down to 23, and then it starts to go 23, 21, 24, 30, 117. So 14 to 21 days later is the next biggest spike from day one, which, by the way, I don't trust day one. So two to three weeks later is the next biggest spike. Now, if you're managing your, your data on a month-by-month -month basis, that means that every dollar spent past the first week is potentially unrealized in your one month data analysis. Does that make sense? Every dollar spent takes 14 to 21 days in order to yield fruit, potentially, based off of this, this conversion path that we're looking at. And, and I mean, not 100% of it, obviously, because it's, it's sprinkled throughout the timeline, but enough of it to be really compelling to say like, hey, slow your roll, let's zoom out, right? Zoom out. And then it gets even better. We're looking at 21 to 30 days, 85 conversions, um, 30 to 45 days, 40 conversions, 40 to 60 days, 32 conversions, 60 to 90 days, 85 conversions. There's $33,000 in the 60 to 90 day window that you would optimize yourself out of if you were to look at, it, at your data in uh, a month by month or a seven day silo. Um, let's look at the smart shopping campaign. Same story. Um, you know, first day, 177, which makes sense. 35, 19, 23, 19, 23. Um, that is so weird. What is this with this? Three to four and five to six. What was the last matching that we saw? One to two and four to five. That's just a coincidence. I'm not going to try to read too much into this. Um, drops, and then it picks back up. <gasps> and now 11 to 12 days, uh, you know, big shot in the arm. 14 to 21 days, 45 conversions. 21 to 30, 53 conversions. Um, here we are, 45 to 60, 32 conversions. $20,000 in the 45 to 60 day window. Um, Y'all, that's, so I won't belabor the issue. You see the point. Um, and, and this is just one client, right? So this client happens, you know, they had that, that nice shot from 45 to 60 and 60 to 90. Um, you need to see where yours is. You need to see what your conversion path looks like and, and work from the understanding that you're not able to see 
everything because Google can't track every single touch point. It can't maintain the the, 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 the sequencing of the purchase path in every instance um, or even, dare I say, most instances, although I'm sure they would disagree with me. Um, and so y you have to operate from the assumption that there's more going on than you can see and you need to be able to broaden your view and then also narrow in. Right, so you want to sometimes you want to zoom in and start to take a look at you know the the, the immediate impacts of certain advertising mechanisms um, for for the same reason it's the same paradigm just reversed. So time, look at look at um, uh, uh, time and the impact that time is having on your campaigns, and then also the impact other campaigns are having on, on specific campaigns. I think that you know it's a three dimensional view. Um, it's not just campaign and time; it's also campaign time and context. Um, you know, surrounded by other campaigns. So I hope this was helpful. We shoot a video every single day. So if you like what I have to say, then you can subscribe. Um, maybe give me a thumbs up, maybe comment. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.